No one on the ground was hurt. Toyota CEO has backed out of plans to testify before Congress about his car company's recent safety concerns. His decisions not setting well with U.S. officials who announced yet another issue with one of Toyota's best sellers today. The latest now from KMIR 6's Chris Clackham. The announcement by Toyota Chief Akia Toyota that he won't go before Congress after all is not what some on Capitol Hill wanted to hear. If he fails to do it, I think it's a missed opportunity. California Congressman Daniel Issa and Brian Bilbray toured a Toyota parts plant in Carlsbad in preparation for congressional hearings next week on the company whose sterling reputation may have been part of the problem. That do we allow somebody with a great reputation to get a free ride? Many in Washington say Toyota needs to open up. We are going to insist that there be a new level of transparency from all the auto companies who want to sell in America. Transparency is not easy to come by in Japan, though. The CEO admitted as much at the news conference in Tokyo, saying that even after 50 years of doing business in the U.S., the Japanese way of doing things doesn't necessarily work here. And the latest Toyota not necessarily working right is the Corolla. Steering problems may put it among the 8.5 million Toyotas recalled worldwide. This follows news that production will be halted temporarily at Toyota plants in Texas and Kentucky over the next two months because demand has dropped so dramatically. Chris Clack, MKMIR, 6 News. In his place, Toyota CEO has ordered the company's chief North American executive to go to next week's hearing. Coming up